So since being here in uh, Singapore, we've gone to a lot of hawker centers. And so in today's episode, I thought I'd do something a little different and show you guys a good value in terms of buffets here near the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. And we are here in the tower of Marina One, which is a huge, beautiful tower here. And they have a buffet here called Overeats. This Overeats buffet is actually $26 for a lunch buffet and $36 for a dinner buffet. And we're here during the lunch buffet. And we're, one thing special about this buffet is they also offer a hot pot which is unlimited selection of meats and um, seafood, as well as some vegetables and ramen. So I'm really excited to show you guys the buffet and let's go inside and have some lunch. All right, we are here in Over East, and uh, we got a vast array of things we can get here. Um, they have teppanyaki, they have Japanese food here. They also have some fried uh, dumplings and noodles, but they also have a hot pot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the teppanyaki and the Japanese food, and then we'll move on to the hot pot in the second round. All right, here is some of their uh, fried items here. They have some what, chicken nuggets there. Also they have uh, some uh, dumplings and they have some spring rolls. And also they have uh, some fried chicken and also the scoop of their fries looks like. Yeah, let's try a little bit. Down here they have, looks like all scallop noodles. Down here looks like they have some uh, chili crab sauce along with these buns. We've never tried chili crab before, so this is a great opportunity for us to try some of the sauce as well as some of the buns that come along with the chili crab. And this looks like we got mushrooms. Also, it looks like they have some teriyaki chicken there. And they also have some uh, cauliflower. Oh, I like this one here. Look at that, guys. Some... All right, guys, we get to make some laksa for ourselves here. Self-service laksa. Fish cakes there. A little bit of quail eggs here. What's it? They have mackerel here. Also, looks like they have some salmon back there, guys. Gyoza. Nice. With the bonito flakes on top. All right, coming up for drinks here, guys. They have hot and cold drinks. And uh, this is drink. What is this drink called? Water, chestnut, and sugar cane. There you go. Let's try that. Okay, we are back and we got a lot of food. I didn't realize how big the Asian section was. So we got some uh, big salmon, and also we got some uh, mackerel. Also we got some fried uh, wontons and the egg rolls and some noodles. We got some laksa guys, which wow, we got laksa here. Also we got some of the chili and crab sauce. And on top of that, we have some sashimi of the salmon. But uh, let's try the laksa first. All right, this laksa looks amazing guys. Look at that, we got the shrimp in there. It's a self-service, so basically we can put whatever you want in there. We have some fish cakes in there too. And then we have the wonderful noodles here, along with some tofu. I'm gonna try some with the noodles and some fish cake here. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. There you go. Yeah, this spongy tofu. Best thing to get when you have laksa, because it kind of absorbs all that laksa broth. And you get first the juice in your mouth. Oh, there you go. One more bite here. Mm. Oh, that was good. As I mentioned earlier, uh, we never tried chili crab before, but at the same time, they offer this sauce. And <laughs> the sauce also comes with these buns too that they offer. So first time trying chili crab sauce in these buns. Oh, that's really sweet. Mmm. Chili crab sauce tastes like sweet chili sauce. It's a little bit spice to it. Really good. Yeah, if you like chili sauce, you'll like this. I really love chili sauce, so. Mmm, perfect. Mmm. They also had these fried tofu that is actually stuffed. And I've been a big fan of these. There you go. Try this. Mmm, yep. I can't remember the name of this, but all I know is I really like this. All right, got a variety of food here. So I'll try some of these noodles. Go. Mm. Mm. Ooh, they have spring rolls here, guys. Go. Mm. 
Mm. Spring rolls are really good, but very much a basic spring roll. But you got chili crab sauce here, dip it in here. Mm, there you go. All right, one of the things we got here was the salmon sashimi. There you go. That was a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting salmon sashimi here on the buffet. Wow. Mmm, very nice. Mm. I'll try this. Um, sugar cane juice has a chestnut in it, so it mixes up the flavor of chicken cane juice. It's really good. Actually, the flavor kind of reminds me of a uh, shike, which is kind of the rice drink in Korea. The flavor is very similar. Mmm, that's really good. Oh, also got the salmon here. Mm. This is kind of stir fried vegetables, of lotus root, shiitake mushrooms, um, enoki mushrooms. Yeah, just kind of a mix of everything here. There you go. Mmm, really good. A little bit of spice to it. Mm. Oh, that's good. All right, we smashed it here. First round is done. Actually, not too bad. The noodles were okay. Also, the chicken was just a chicken wing, regular chicken wing. Yeah, and this veggie saute actually had lotus roots in it. Actually, it was really good. Kind of a little more Chinese flavor, like a Szechuan flavor. And um, the salmon, big salmon was good. Also, the mackerel, spot on mackerel. But yeah, first wing round was really good. All right, guys, now we have to get the hot pot sauce first. And there's a sauce station here, and you can choose what kind of broth you want for a hot pot. So we have, what do we got here? We have herbal soup, we have uh, mala. Also, we have this uh, tonkatsu, and we had the shoyu. All right, we're gonna do the tonkatsu. What we do is we wanna go ahead and start this first. There it is. And then we'll put in the broth. Wow, look at that broth. That looks really rich. All right, now for toppings, we're gonna get some of the beef. Nice. Also, they offer you some of these, uh, looks like tripe here. Got a little bit of that beef there, and then also that pork down there too. So we'll try some of that pork too. Also, they have some tripe down here. And they also have, I think, beef liver down here too. So the marinated crab, you can take to the grill station, they'll grill it for you. Also, they have some mussels down here, some clams. And they also have marinated squid along with some of the fish. And then they have, uh, looks like some meatballs down here, some fish balls, different kind of fish balls. And they have some shrimp cakes, sausages, some imitation crab there. Yeah, they have tofu skin down there as well. And they have some tofu cakes. They have some duck. They have a couple pieces of duck, which is the rice cake there. Nice. And a little sausages too. They have a whole entire devastation over here too. They have a station where you can get some of the noodles along with some mushrooms and egg and cabbage. Yeah, they have a lot of different things in here. All right, and then we have the ingredients for your dipping sauce here. A little soy sauce here. A little bit of sesame oil. And we got some uh, sweet bean paste. What's sweet bean paste? I don't know. Give it a little try. All right, time to load up the hot pot here. Also, we got some mushrooms and some corn. Typically, we always put in the vegetables first because it takes a little bit longer to cook than the meats. There you go. And that your what are your mushrooms? So, this different sauce area here, we're gonna add some more ingredients to our sauce here. We got some garlic there, also you got some chilies there. You know? Oh yeah, some peanuts in there. Oh we got some garlic slices down there. Or not. Wow, well, there you go guys. So, different station. It's by the sauce station here. You can add some more toppings to your sauce. All right, looks like the meat is done. 
it's time to dig into the hot pot. And there you go, dipping sauce here. Go ahead and mix this up. Oh yeah, so this is dipping sauce for your meat. Look at all this meat. Meat's all cooked up. You got pork and beef in here. Looks really good. One thing about pork and beef, it doesn't take too long to cook up. Also the tofu skin. And also some of the greens here too. The greens look really good. There you go. Let's try this meat. Put in the dipping sauce here that I created. There you go. Look at that. Ooh. Dipping sauce is really good. The meat is super tender. Hot pot is just such a fun way to eat as well. Really good. Mm. I'll try some of this uh, tonka soup broth. Ooh, this broth looks really creamy. Wow, that is a good broth. Oh, yeah, you can really taste that pork in there. It's like you're eating a uh, tonkatsu ramen. Oh yeah, that's really good. And we'll let that um, tofu skin here kind of absorb some of that broth. There it is. Mm. Oh yeah. That broth is really good. So when you get here, you can pretty much sit anywhere you want. Also, it's a really clean environment. Mm. The dip is real good. <laughs> These little sausages. Mm. I don't know what we found, guys. We found baby squid. I think that's the first time I've ever seen baby squid on the buffet. I've seen baby octopus, but never baby squid. Alright guys, here we go. Let's go ahead and try some more stuff here. We have some of uh, the, oh, looks like fish cake here. Let's try some of that, along with some pork. There we go. Looks like that imitation uh, crab cake there. Oh, yeah, let's try this imitation crab. We got some baby squid right there. Get a little bit of broth here too. And then corn here. Start with the baby squid first. I'm gonna put in a little bit of dip here. Ooh. Here you go. <laughs> it's good. Small, so it's really tender, easy to eat. Made of corn. Mmm. Mmm. Poor, oh, this is crazy. Imitation crab here. Typical imitation crab. I mean, you can't get away from that. One thing about Singapore. And it's really popular for hot pot, so a lot of buffets you'll find are hot pot buffets, or they incorporate hot pot as part of the buffet. So, so overeats is the same thing. They incorporated the hot pot as part of the buffet. Okay, gotta get some noodles and some of the egg. Oh, that's a lot of noodles. <laughs> here we go. All right, here it is, guys. Got some udon here. That's pretty good. Mm. Now, what makes this udon is that they had actually the Tonkatsu ramen, kind of broth. So you're basically having ramen, like a ramen with uh, udon noodles. Mm. Also, provide raw eggs, guys. So have the udon with the um, egg that's cooked with it. There you go, like that. Mm. Pork and udon. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Ah. So, two, the two staples of hot pot for me. One is the broth. Really good broth. You'll have a good hot pot. Second, of course, is the dip. And you dip all the proteins in here. Even the vegetables too, right? But having a good dip in there. Ah. Everything else is pretty much so simple. You know, fish cakes, noodles, and meat. But if you add all those things together, it creates a great balance of flavor. So when you're looking for a hot pot, look for a good broth and good dip. There you go. All right, we're gonna finish up this last plate and then we'll go and work the last part of the buffet here and show you guys what they have. All right, looks like they have some chicken curry here. Let's take a look at that. Chicken curry. Also, they have some uh, black pepper chicken. 
And they also have some uh, broccoli and a uh, cauliflower. And they also have the uh, bok choy and some fried rice. And bacon, mushroom, carbonara? No. Nope, they have uh, meatball spaghetti. and spaghetti. Yep, so spaghetti meatball. Pretty basic. And they also have some uh, pesto penne and some potatoes here. Also, they have some Hawaiian pizza. That's kind of looking rough. <laughs> and they have some mac and cheese. They also have some corn. And they also have some sweet sour fish. And they also looks like they have some baby corn there. And the beef uh, mushroom, beef stroganoff. And the broccoli and as well as salted egg chicken. Looks like chicken skin. And they have, looks like they have some truffle mushroom soup. Along with some hot and sour soup. Let's take a look. Hot and sour soup. There it is. And the truffle mushroom soup. So we got a salad bar here. And then we are gonna use some dessert. And we have like a lot of mini cakes here. So take your selection of cakes, guys. Very nice. And then they also have the breads over here. And they have this uh, mini pancake that reminds me of the ones that we had upon something. I can't remember the name of it, but so a new street in Penang, we had this. All right, let's pick up a little bit of fruit here too. We got the uh, mixed fruit there. Another guys, they have a uh, coffee, they have latte, cappuccino, they have Milo mo mocha. Also they have Milo, white coffee, tetaric, and also this, I don't know what this is. Anyways, I'm gonna get tetaric. There you go. All right, we got the desserts and here they are. A lot of assortment of different cakes here, little cakes. So you can try a little bit of this and that, right? And uh, let's go ahead, let's try this one here with the green matcha. It looks like matcha. This looks like matcha to me, so let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. Definitely matcha. Very mild, but definitely matcha. Mm. Alright, let's go ahead and try another one. This one looks like berry. All right, this looks, looks like, a, like a cake with a, two cakes actually, two layers. And it has like a kind of a berry filling, so let's try this one. Mmm, strawberry. It has a strawberry on top, a little glaze, and um, inside, very mild flavor. With just a soft, like sponge cake. Let's try this one. It looks like a cheesecake. This reminds me of a blueberry cheesecake, so let's see if I'm right. Cheesecake, I think I'm right. But the bottom part doesn't taste like blueberry, it just tastes like cake. So, very mild flavor, but it's cheesecake. We like cheesecake. You don't really need much for dessert because they had a lot of food on here. So they kept it really simple. But they also had tetaric. So tetaric, I really am a big fan of, so. Yeah, spot on. Tastes like tetaric. Hey, way too much food here. But not too bad. Very simple buffet, but at the same time, very affordable for this area of the Marina Bay Sands Hotel right down the street. So the property here on Marina One, it's a beautiful property. I think there's condos here as well and a lot of businesses too, a lot of restaurants around here. So if you find yourself here in the Murray Bay Sands area, yeah, you come over here overeat. Give it a try. Hot pot buffet as well as sashimi and some other wonderful Japanese food and uh, Asian food. So yeah, well worth it. All right, guys, that is it for our time at Overeats. And I think it lived up to the name because I think I overate a little bit. But at the same time, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the buffet. As always, guys, I appreciate your support. And we'll see you back in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.